Mr. Sams. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got a question for you. What's up? You know, you know, we we are teachers of of, of teenagers. We are. They're a funny lot, aren't they? Are they? They're fun. Yes. But you know, I, I've got a, a question for you. What happens to all high school romances? All high school romances, they all break up. That's kind of negative, Mr. Sams. Well, I've seen two exceptions to that rule in my 10 years of teaching. I'm not sure I've seen any. So. No, no, not <laughs> in my 10 years of teaching in my life, come to think of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. yeah I, like I always ask my, like I, well, I, oh, I remember asking some of my old high school friends, so how's so-and-so? And, of course, the answer is right. no, no. Yep, I have one friend that I went to school with who ended up marrying his high school girlfriend. Wow, uh, yeah. Yep, so one. all high school romances break up. They all so, do. folks, yep. that romance that you're in right now, it's going to break up. Yeah. Just, yeah, sorry. Yes. We're being pessimists. Yes. But, you know, that actually applies to today's lesson, Mr. Sams. Yeah. Because we're going to talk about how something always breaks up. Yep. All the time. Yes. 100%. Yes, we call that dissociation. Dissociation. So, actually, you know, when you break up with your girlfriend next time? You're dissociating. You're dissociating. Yes. So, if we dissociate, we can just. So, yeah, we're giving you some new language. Hey, hey, we're dissociated. Yes. We'll reassociate now. Reassociate. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're back. All right. I got a new chair. Hey, I see that. It's cool. Yeah, because you, you're, you're back. Yeah, you cracked your back. That's why I was so sour in the last one. Yeah, the sour. Hey, the definition of a strong acid is that it... Completely. It's dissociates. like a high school romance. Yes. It completely dissociates. It does. All of them. All the time. 100%. Always. Just like a high school romance. Yep. Sorry, girls. I know you've got this romantic notion in your head, but yeah. no. Okay. So we should probably show that um, chemically. Okay. So if it. I've got um, now, should we talk about what strong acids are? Yeah, we are completely dissociating. All right. So for example, one strong acid is HCl. Yeah. Oh, you mean list which ones? Yeah, yeah we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Um, HCl is a strong acid, and Mr. Sam's actually kind of got into this a little bit a minute ago. If you start it as a gas and then you put it in water, we could like put water here. It breaks apart into H positive, AQ plus Cl negative AQ. That means all of them. So these are like our little couples, and they're all yep. happy, but then they don't like each other, nope. and they break up 100%. That means there's actually zero of these left over. There's no couples left over. There's only single boys and single girls. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 100% yeah. of them. Yeah, and it, to be perfectly honest, it's like 99.999999. Well, that's probably like with your one friend. Exactly. No he friends. is the one exception to yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's completely associated. Now, we should also talk about, there's a list. I don't think we have a slide on this. Yeah. There's a list of strong acids and a list of strong bases. We'll talk about strong acids. So how do you know if it's an acid is strong or weak? Well, you learn the six strong ones and the rest are weak. Yeah, so there's a list of six strong acids. Right. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. There are some really bizarre, weird yeah. ones out there, like fluoroantimonic acid that we will never, ever, ever encounter I didn't know in that here. One. Oh, yeah, they're called super acids. They're like yeah. ridiculously no, freakishly I didn't know the name scary. Of I've heard of the super so, acids. Don't mess with those. Yeah, we're, we're not even going to go down that road in here. So we're going to learn six strong, and for the rest of our purposes, the rest are weak. So um, I already mentioned one HCL. of them HCL. Another one that we've um, played around with in class is nitric acid. My personal favorite. I love that acid. Um, <laughs> H2SO4. These are the, sort of the big three. These yep. are the ones that every chemistry department has lots of. Yep. The next few, they don't typically have Not a so lot much. of. Yeah. But they're still strong acids. Yep. Ha uh, perchloric acid, HClO4. Yeah, you don't want perchlorates lying around. No. Those are um, nasty. HBr, HBr and HI. And then the happy acid. Hi. Hello. So... Um, so that's the six strong acids. Yep. Every but other acid is weak. For our purposes. Yeah, for our purposes. There's a, yeah, the super acid thing. Yep. Now, weak acid is, is kind of like, hopefully, like marriages are supposed to be. Only a few of them break apart. Right. And so it only partially dissociates. Right, and kind of the general rule of thumb, if the strong acid is 100% dissociation, the weaks, we say about 1%. No, yeah. that's kind of a squishy, fuzzy number, but it gives you a ballpark. Because some, some are actually 1%, it. some are 5%, yeah. some, some are less. half a percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so a, a typical yeah. weak acid is uh, acetic acid. Now, while we're at that, acetic acid comes from acetate. Right. And if you call acetate, CHO232, negative, right? C2H3O2. Negative one. That's Perfect. acetate. There it is. I'm going to mix them with the H positive. So that is H C two H three O two. Now watch what I do. I'm going to say AQ right here because it dissolves in water. And I'm going to draw a double arrow. Mm. I'll talk about that in a second. Right? H positive AQ. Mm -hmm. It looks just like the other reaction, um, except for the double arrow. The only thing you see different here is this double arrow. The double arrow indicates that the reaction is reversible. 
we call it an equilibrium um, arrow, and that means that only they, they, they kind of go back and forth. Yeah. And so this couple breaks up, and it makes this boy and this girl. But this boy and this girl, if you will, will turn around and make a couple. And usually you've got to have like let's say 98 percent if this is a two percent acid, and maybe two percent over here, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so two percent are singles, 98 percent are couples, if right. you will. So that's the partially dissociated. Again, how do I know which acids are weak? Uh, it's the rest that are not the six. He's not one of the six. So acetic acid is not one of our list of six. So he is, he or they, whatever you want to call them, are a, a weak acid. Mm -hmm. So they partially dissociate. Right. And we're going to show you a little clip here in a minute and we'll visually I demonstrate think, yeah. how this works. Yeah, I think so. Here's actually a, a picture of how that might work. Um, here is a strong acid before dissociation. Afterwards, notice um, there's no uh, purple line. And yep, then for a weak acid, associated. we have HB, whatever, just like a letter or whatever. And then mostly is HB and a few H's and a few B's. Yep. Yeah. All right. What about a strong base? It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Strong base, complete dissociation. Strong acid, complete dissociation. Strong electrolyte that we learned in unit yeah. 9, complete dissociation. Complete. So 100%? Yeah, so it just so happens that um, strong acids and strong bases are also strong electrolytes. Yeah, in, yeah. I, like, I just thought of something, but I'll sh save it. So let's give an example of a strong base dissociation. So NaOH is a strong base, and we'll talk about the, how you know them. And it's typically a solid, actually. Mm -hmm. And when you drop it into water, it will, it will dissolve. It will not just dissolve, but completely completely dissociate into sodiums plus hydroxides. Notice that this produces hydroxides, and that's how I also know it's a base. Mm -hmm. um, so if you produce hydroxides, it's a base. These other ones, I don't think we said this, but if you go back to our acid one, notice how in this acetic acid I made the hydrogen ion. That's yep. how I know it's an acid, because it makes the hydrogen ion. This one produces the hydroxide. It completely dissociates. Now, how do I know which bases are strong? There's two. Yeah, or, well. well we're going to deal yeah. with two. Sodium hydroxide and There's potassium There's only two strong acids. NaOH and potassium hydroxide. Right. And basically, the group one hydroxides are so strong. So technically, if you really want to get excited here, yeah. you could also conclude rubidium, cesium, and francium hydroxide. But these guys are so rare or, and or are very expensive that no one ever uses these. They'll nope. only use these two right here. Um, one thing I should say about strong acids and strong bases both is the reason that there are strong acids and strong bases is because the bonds that hold them together are weak. weak. That sounds odd. They have yep. a strong acid, but they're weak bonds. Well, if you think about it, since they completely dissociate, um, then they're held together by a weak bond. Well, think back to the high school romance. The bond that holds the boy to the girl is actually quite weak. Otherwise, it would last. <laughs> Sorry, we're being pessimists. Um, and so, therefore, they don't last. Um, so, yeah. All right. And then the last one.